Miss Tariel here and I have a word for you. Get off the milk. Yes, the most high God is calling you higher and he wants you to mature this year. He wants you to let go of your childish ways and grow up. So look, the verse for this video is 1 Peter 2. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. So look, the most high God is calling you higher. He says, you know, like a baby craves milk. He wants you to crave spiritual milk. He wants you to grow up in your salvation. He wants you to help other people because honestly, a baby, they can't fend for themselves. They need someone to always take care of them. You always have to be watching the baby to make sure the baby is breathing. You have to take care of the baby. You have to take them to the doctor. You have to feed them. You have to clothe them. You have to comfort them, cradle them. Like some of us are like this. You are too needy. You need to grow up. God wants to be able to take his eyes off of you and know that you're still going to be okay. He doesn't want to constantly have to, you know, oh, is she okay? Is he okay? Does he need his bottle? Does he need his diaper change? Does she need a diaper change? Like the most high God is calling you higher. So the title of this video is get off the milk. So in verse one, it says, therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit. Some of us, we have, you know, murderous thoughts. And God says, you know, you can murder in your mind and still be considered a murderer. He says that um, he wants you to get rid of all deceit. Some of us, we're still lying. Some of us, we're still in denial. Some of us, we are still in a place of delusion. The Most High God wants you to tighten up this year. He wants you to get it together. It says hypocrisy. Some of us, we are hypocrites. You know, some people think a hypocrite may be someone who is, you know, correcting them. No, a hypocrite is someone who is... Well, let me give you the definition of it. Let me look it up really fast because I want to give you the actual definition so a hypocrite is a person who indulges in hypocrisy it says that a person who claims or pretends to have certain beliefs about what is right but who behaves in a way that disagrees with those beliefs yeah like i said some people they call you know a person a hypocrite but you got to understand we're all people we're all gonna fall short we're all gonna sin and a lot of us we know right from wrong and if someone is offering you you know the right answer and correction you can't call them a hypocrite because they're offering you the right answer and correction there's a difference between you know correction and constructive criticism than being a hypocrite so um you know god says in this verse he wants you to let go of hypocrisy some of us again we know right we're saying what to do but we're not doing it he wants you to let go of that he wants you to let go of envy the spirit of envy is wow people envy everybody because everybody looks good and you know the most high god says to stop being envious of other people because if the one thing about God is if he did something for someone in biblical times or someone that you may know, he will do it for you. God is no respecter of persons. God loves everybody. He looks at us all as human, as equal. You know, he created all of us in our mother's womb. He created us before that. You know, God is the creator of the universe. And like I said, he's no respecter of persons. If he did it for them, he can do it for you. Believe that. There's so many miracles, you know, that jesus christ performed you know there's so many things that happened that were miraculous you know that the world said could wasn't possible but god said it is possible you got to remember that god is god like you really have to remember that and then it says and put away slander of every kind like i said before some of us we're not washing our mouths we're letting anything come out of our mouths and some of us we do this in private or around our friends like we let anything come out of our mouths around our friends but we don't do it in public so people think you know we're good we're a good person you have to watch your mouth at all times not just to the public or just to the private but you have to watch your mouth at all times because god is watching you and a lot of us we feel convicted and that that when you are feeling convicted about something you may think it's a bad thing, but it's a good thing because it's God giving you another chance to do the right thing. He's showing you what's wrong and what's right. So you have to use that and, you know, begin to, like I said, grow because life is about growth. Like if you think about a plant or a tree or a fruit, all of these things have to take time to grow and to become what they're supposed to be. Like if you think about a seed, it's literally a seed. But when you put it in the dirt and when you start to nurture it and give it that sunlight and that water and, you know, the CO2, um, 
it begins to flourish. It begins to become a plant. It begins to become something that can be used by a greater source. You feel me? Like animals, they need plants. We need plants to live, you know. Trees provide us oxygen. Like, yo, yo, end go, yo, yo, you know, your victory lap, your final destination. It is going to serve a higher, greater purpose than you really think. Because a, a seed don't know that it's going to be something that eventually feeds thousands of people. You know, God is calling you to be something so much greater than you think. And it says that he wants you to grow up in your salvation. Some of us, we claim that we saved, but what are you really doing for, you know, the ministry? What are you doing for the kingdom? Um, My pastor, he's always talking about, you know, the church has so many ministries. And he's, he talks about how people have been members for 20 years, 30 years, but they never joined a ministry. They never joined something that was going to, you know, help the kingdom. They never served. The Most High God wants you to serve. And a lot of us, we have different gifts and talents like I spoke about before. Serve in your talent. Create a ministry around it. And, you know, put God in it. God wants to be glorified. Serving is so important because it shows your heart and God will honor that. He want, He loves people that serve. He loves people that give. He loves a cheerful giver. Yeah, some of us, we are, we have the ability to give, but we choose not to. We are selfish. We hold our hand and God does not like that. He loves a cheerful giver. He wants you to give. So it's so important that you begin to do these things. And like I said, grow and work on your self-development and in verse 3, it says, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. So, yes, you know God is good. You know that he provides. You know that he comes through. You know that the Most High God is loyal. But are you really going to, you know, use that? I want you to get rid of these things that are hindering you. Whether it's the people around you. Whether it's the situation you're in. Whether it's the vice that you're dealing with. Whether it's um, the way you're thinking. The things you're saying. Like I said, some of us, we're holding on to our past and you don't have to hold on to your past. Your past is your past. Like there's so many things that have happened in my life, in my past that could have took me out. They could have, you know, I could have gave up because of what happened to me. But that's not what your past is for. Your past is to learn and, you know, to help other people. It's to make you remember what you've been through. It's for your testimony, you know? So let go of your past. Let go of all these old relationships that you may be hanging on to with men or women that you may have been with. Because like I said before in another video, if it didn't work out before and it ain't working out now, it ain't going to work out. So let it go. Move on because God has a kingdom man or woman waiting on you. He just wants you to, like I said, mature. He wants you to grow up. He wants you to get off the milk. He wants you to be grateful. He wants you to exhale, breathe in, breathe out. The Most High God is calling you to a, a better place, a higher place, a divine place. He wants you to be on your divine assignment. So let's get it right. Let's get to it. And look, I pray that this video blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.